now welcome back my dear class 12 student <coughs> this is a class of accountancy and we have just started the chapter issue of debentures okay now last class we have already discussed what is debentures what is bond what are the different kinds of debentures and what is the difference between share and debentures also that is also very important what is the difference between share and debentures now <coughs> in case of debentures what is the long term debentures and what are the short term debentures as per company's view if any debenture redemption or redeemable in two years period that will be short term debentures that will be treated as a short term debentures ok and more than two years period that will be the long term debentures but it cannot be we have already learned in the features in debentures it cannot be more than 10 years except some companies that is infrastructure companies ok so debentures actually vary from 1 to 3 years, 1 years to 3 years, but in case of company's view, if a debenture is redemption period within 2 years or that is 2 years period that will be called short term debentures and it will be more than the redemption redeemable time will be or redemption time will be the more than 2 years that will be called long term debentures. And now we will show how we can show these debentures long term and short term in balance sheet. Okay. In balance sheet how can we show this debenture. Now suppose there is a debentures okay, do not need uh, that fast just what is the format of balance sheet of company you already know. that is two years one is current one is previous years one is current years and here first you write that is a extract balance sheet because you are not doing the whole balance sheet of the company a portion of balance sheet you are showing so always write extract balance sheet of XYZ limited as that that is the debt. Okay. So, extract balance sheet you are making. Here is the particulars and two years we have to done and there is another account that is you have to make another column that is note to accounts note to accounts is compulsory in case of company balance sheet note to accounts then there is a current year period current year and in case of company you know there is a previous year figure you also show in the current year balance sheet also previous year so that is rupees and that is also rupees Okay. So, first heading what actually first heading is come that is equity and liabilities in the liability side equity and liabilities. Okay. Now, in equity liabilities if this is first we will discuss about the long term borrowing long term debentures. So, long term debentures comes under non current asset. So, next heading will be non current asset, non current assets. Okay. Under non current asset that is what we will call debenture is a, we have already discussed that is one type of loan we have taken. So, that is long term borrowing. Next is long term borrowings 
and here you have to mention node number 1. Now we have to make node 2 accounts. Node 2 accounts. Node 2 accounts, this is very simple. Heading is node 2 accounts. There is a particulars and amount rupees is there. So, what is the long term borrowing where you give the note that is number 1 is long term borrowing. So, number 1 long term borrowing, long term borrowings. Okay. Under long term borrowing, so you are issuing the debentures that is 10 lakh debentures. Ten lakh, ten percent. Always there will be percent in debenture. Percent means that is a coupon rate. Means it is a interest rate. Ten percent debentures. The rate of rupees one hundred, and this one hundred is a nominal value. It is uh, so. So you are issuing the not ten lakh. You just do it a uh, one lakh debenture actually. Do it one lakh debenture, you are issuing <coughs> at the rate of rupees hundred. So what will become that is one crore. That is one crore. Okay. So you are issuing one lakh debentures. 1 lakh 10 percent dimension at the rate of rupees 100, so that is 1 crore, and that 1 crore will become in balance sheet that is also 1 crore. Okay. Now, there is a short term borrowings, short term borrowings come under current liabilities. So, another heading you have to make that is current liabilities. Under current liabilities, there will be heading called short term borrowings. Short term borrowings. So, this is note number 2. So, here also you write note number 2 that is short term borrowings. Here you are issuing 10,000 shares, 10,000 sorry, 10,000 10 percent debentures at the date of rupees 100. So, that will be the 10 lakh. So, that will be the 10 lakh. So, here also you just write 10 lakh. Okay. So, that is why you can show the debentures that is long term debentures and short term debentures. Now, you can close the note to accounts that is the closing. Okay. And total liability side, what we got? There is nothing else, that is 1 crore 10 lakh. Now, what will be the asset side? So, assets, I am doing here the same thing, the asset sides. Here will be under cash and cash equivalent, cash and cash equivalent heading. Here it will become one lakh one crore ten lakh because all the money whatever issue you issue debentures 
that is 1 crore and 10 lakh come to your bank account. So, we have to show the in the asset side also in under cash and cash equivalent that is 1 crore 10 lakh and now you can see the liability and asset side is equal as you know that. Okay. So, liability and asset side will be equal and that is the way you can show the debentures long term and short term debenture in a balance sheet. Now, <coughs> What will be the minimum subscription that will come to your exam very oftenly? What is the minimum subscription you have to take in case of debentures? So, as per Companies Act 391, Companies Act 391, that is Companies Act 2013, Companies Act 2013. Section 39.1 said, "What is the minimum subscription you have to make?" They say minimum 75 percent subscription will be needed. Whatever debenture you issue, the minimum 75 percent you should application you should receive or amount of application you should receive. Suppose there is a 10 lakh amount of debentures you issue first time. Okay. So, you should you have to receive 75 percent that is 7 lakh 50 thousand amount of say debentures or the value or the quantity of debentures. So, of course, you have uh, issued 10 lakh debentures. So, we have to receive 7 lakh minimum 7 lakh 50 thousand debentures application for your under your issuance and you should receive your application money. Okay. So, that is also a very important point and in case of share we know there is also a minimum subscription will be needed and that will be the that was the 90 percent or 75 percent in that case that was the 90 percent. Now, what is the different type of debenture we issue? Different type of debentures mean how can we issue actually debentures? So, debenture can be issued. Suppose one debenture's face value is rupees 100. Now, you can issue at par, so that is will be the 100. At premium, you can issue in premium also. Suppose there is a 10 rupees premium, so 110, and you can issue discount. Discount. You can issue debenture in a discount. That is important because you can is you cannot issue the shares in a discount, except sweet equity share, stock option plan like that. Okay, so you can not uh, cannot issue. Uh, shares in a discount, but you can issue debenture in a discount that is in price of 90, though the face value is 100, you can issue is 90. So, there is a 10 rupees loss, suppose in called issue 70, okay. so that is called discounted value. So, at per means whatever the face value is there, you are issuing that price, at premium means, so price will be higher than the face value. In discount means the price will be lesser than the your face value. Okay. So, in that three point you always remember you can issue at par, you can issue at premium, you can issue at discount. In that year due to pandemic the CBSC already deleted some portion that is the redemption portion, lump sum redemption portion of the and in law redemption portion also deleted by your from your syllabus. Okay. So, issue is there, but redemption is not there that is also very important point. So, this three way you can actually issue the debentures. 
So, if in case of loss, when our issue debentures in 90 rupees whose face value is rupees 100, so there is a loss of rupees 10. So, you are actually your loss is rupees 10 because you have to redeem, nobody will take your somebody investing your debenture for buying actually for 100 in the face value of 100, they will not actually return back in 90 rupees for, for not for that they actually investing in this is not a share. The value is can be decreased, value can be increased, the price can be increased, price can be decreased. Average interest rate is fixed and redemption value is also fixed. So, they actually get 100 rupees, they actually you have to pay 100 rupees. So, but you are issuing discount in 90 rupees means they were your actually company's debenture is not very much popular. So, you are but still you need money that is why you are issuing in a loss. Okay. So, this loss of rupees 10 you have to make up from your own company. What from you actually this loss you can be <coughs> written off. Now, in case of face value that is rupees 10, suppose the total value of that loss is rupees 1 lakh. Okay. Total value of rupees loss of rupees 1 lakh. And the first point is what from you written off that is capital reserve. Capital reserve. Next, you have to return off if they if the capital reserve have not enough money, you have to return off from the securities premium reserve. Securities premium reserve. Third, if the security premium is also not enough money, third you have to return up from the statement on statement of profit and loss. Okay. Now, in case of there is a loss of 1 lakh, suppose capital reserve have rupees 30,000. Now, securities premium has rupees 50,000 and there is <coughs> 1 lakh rupees is there from statement of profit and loss. So, how will deduct? Now, first loss amount that is loss on discount, loss on issue of discount of debentures. Just write like that loss of issue of discount, loss on issue of debentures, rupees 1 lakh. Now, from past, what from you actually deduct that is capital reserve less rupees 30,000 less CR rupees 30,000. Still, there is a 70,000 rupees left. Still, there is a 70,000 rupees left. So, we have to take securities premium reserve that is SPR. I am writing in short that is 50,000, still there is a 20,000 left and this 20,000 you have to deduct from the statement of profit and loss, statement of PL. That is why you have to return off okay, the loss of the debentures. Have you understood? So, next day we will actually look how we will issue the shares in different way that is at par, at premium, at discount, in cash, in lump sum. In case of debenture, generally we issue the debenture in lump sum way, not in a installment manner, just like share. 
we also we can also issue the debenture in installment manner whatever you already learn in the case of share that is also I show you it is similar like issue is similar like as the issue of the shares ok. But how the, the when we actually issue the debenture what will be the entry what will be the journal we have to pass that we will actually learn the next day ok. So, for today up to that and thank you for watching thank you.